Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to Gate CSE 2018. Okay, so the question is, assume the multiplication of a matrix G1 of dimension P cross Q with another matrix G2 of dimension Q cross R requires PQR scalar multiplication. So we know this, right? So this question belongs to matrix chain multiplication, guys. Okay. Computing the product of n matrices from G1 to Gn can be done by parenthesizing in different ways. Okay. So the parenthesizing can be done in this way, right? Yes. Okay. So in this whole thing, you can say that G2 and G3, that is nothing but these two are first initially multiplied, right? So those things you can call them as explicitly computed, guys. Similarly, G5 and G6 is also explicitly computed because those are also separate, right? Yes. So now the question is, here they gave five different matrices and they are asking at the end which values, okay? So they are clearly asking at the end which values will be having, okay? So they are asking which values will be having the... Uh, this explicitly computable pairs. So the total number of scalar multiplications, they are not asking, but they are asking about the explicitly computational pairs they are asking, guys. Okay. So if you ask me, this question is a bit complex, guys, because it is given with five different matrices, right? Yes. And they are asking the order rather than the direct value, right? Yes. So they are not asking how many scalar multiplications are needed, but they are asking what is that compute explicitly computed pair, right? Yes. Okay. So if you ask me, we can solve this question easily. Okay. But it is a time taking question guys. Okay. I'm being hundred percent clear here. Okay. Yes. So first of all, on this paper, I'll be drawing two matrices guys, because we need to store how it is done and as well as, uh, what are the exact values? So both of them should be stored, right? Yes. So let us start. F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5 in this reverse order. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Guys, if any one of you are uh, watching this lecture without having the prior knowledge about matrix chain multiplication, already we have done that in our course lecture, guys. So I request you to watch that and come back here, guys. Because without that, you cannot understand this. I am being 100% clear with you, guys. Okay? Yes. So here you will start from F2, F3, F4, F5. Similarly, F1, F2, F3, F4. So basically, you will not add one particular layer here. Okay? Okay, so these values will be initially zeros and below values need not to be calculated and this values will be initially 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? And below values cannot be, are not to be calculated, right? Yes, okay. So let us start now, okay? So here we are having the matrix in this way, right? So, okay, so let us start. So at this point, the result will be 0 plus 0, okay? So the result will be 0 plus 0 plus 2 into 25 into 3, right? So here we are multiplying F1 with F2. So only first two multiplication, right? Yes. Okay. So the result will be, so what will be the result guys? It is nothing but 25 into 2 is 50. 50 into 3 is 150. Okay. So the answer is 150 here. So let us write it here. Okay. Similarly, the second value here, it is nothing but 0 plus 0 plus 25 into 3 into 16. So this value will be 1, 2, double, 0, right? Yes. So the result is 1, 2, double, 0. Similarly, the next value is 0 plus 0 plus the next three values. That is nothing but 3 into 16 into 1. So 16 into 3 is a 48. So the result will be 48. So this answer is 48. Okay. Similarly, this location, it is a 0 plus 0 plus. It is the last values, right? So 16 into 1 into 1000. So it is indirectly 16k. So instead of writing 16,000 value, so let us write 16,000 only. Why to confuse ourselves, right? Yes. Okay. So now we got it, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us start calculating at this location, guys. So at that location, we need to calculate, right? Yes. So let us start. So now we are done with this layer, right? Yes. So at this position, we will be taking the minimum value, right? So minimum of 0 plus 1, 2, double, 0. So we will be right, drawing the ladder, right? So in this way and in this way, you will add this with this and this with this. So 150 plus 0 plus plus. So write the first value, then the second value, then the third value, then the fourth value. Okay, so let me take the calcy now. So 16 into 25 into 2, the result is 800 plus 1, 2, double, 0. Okay, so the result will be 2000, right? Yes. So for this, the value is a 2000 
okay for below it is a 16 into 3 into 2 which is a 96 plus 150 so the below result is a 246 so among these two which is minimum guys so 246 is minimum so the result will be 246 here similarly if you calculate here guys shall i calculate it or will you calculate on your own guys so anyway i'll be calculating because uh, few of you might be saying that in examination also what you will do right yes. so one two double zero plus zero plus plus so the next three values right so it is a 25 25 3 16 1 1 right yes so let us calculate so 25 into 3 which is equal to 75 plus 48 the result will be 123 right yes so it is a 123 okay and the value here the for, for the second value is 25 into 16 which will be 400 plus 1200 it will be 1600 so 123 is minimum so you can write 123 okay so one thing which i forgot is i forgot to update this graph this values guys so for this the k value is 1 and the k value is 2 so here the value will be 2 similarly for here the k value is 2 and here the k value is 3 so the k value will be again 2 right yes okay okay yes so let us continue okay so here again we'll be calculating so for that what will be the value guys okay so here the value will be one two sorry here right yes so that will be the addition of okay so here right so sorry just give me a second i'm a bit confused now okay so i think i wrote in the wrong place so here sixteen thousand should be there and here we need to find the value still okay yes so now let us write so zero plus one six double zero sixteen thousand plus 48 plus 0 right yes so what will be the result sorry plus plus so let us take the last values that is a so here we took from 5 25 right so 3 okay 3 16 1 and 1000 and 1000 right yes so let us solve it so this value will be 16 thousand into 3 plus again 16,000 oh my god this value will be really high it is a 64k guys this value to be clear okay so let us take the below value it is a 3 into 1000 that will be 3000 plus 48 so it will be 3048 right yes okay so let us solve it so here the value is a 3048 guys due to my silly mistake I have just returned some wrong answer there okay yes so let us continue with this point now okay so if you solve at that point the value will be 0 plus 123 similarly 150 plus 246 similarly okay so 150 plus 240 sorry 150 plus 48 it should be there right yes so 150 plus 48 246 plus 0 okay so it's a stair type of method guys if you ask me okay yes okay so let us take the next values so here it will be initial value is a 2 2 2 25 3 16 and the last value will be 1 right yes so you can just calculate it okay okay so if we calculate it what will be the result guys it is nothing but 25 into 2 which is a 50 plus 123 so the first value will be 127 so obviously that will be the minimum value right so with my understanding i am sure that it is 127 only the minimum value sorry 173 my bad so it is 173 right yes so the minimum value is 173 i am assuming it you can calculate the rest values guys i am 100 percent sure it, here it is 150 and here it is 243 so obviously they will be greater right yes so in the similar way if you calculate for this so let us calculate it so again upper ladder and below ladder so it is a zero plus three zero so sorry okay am i doing it correctly guys i don't know why but when i am solving this part i am getting a bit confused so 3048 right yes Similarly, 1200 plus 16000 and on the other hand, it is 123 plus 0. So, again, I forgot to substitute the values here. So, for this case, okay, so that is this case, right? Okay, so what we got as the result, guys? So, this we got as the result. So, it is indirectly 4 case, okay? Similarly, 1, 2 and 3. So, in this, we got 1 as the result. Nice, okay? So, moving on to the last value. So, this value. So, that is nothing but you will get 25 25 25 3 16 and 1 so here you will be having 1000 okay so i think i need to solve each and every one of them that is nothing but 3000 into 25 which is equal to 75000 plus 3048 so which is a 78k around guys this is okay so now let us go through second value that is a 25 into 1000 
into 16 oh my god this is will be really large so i don't want to even calculate that so the last value will be 25 into 1000 that is 25000 plus 123 okay so this value is least right so 1 2 1 5 1 2 3 right yes so it is a 2 5 1 2 3 25000 to 123 okay yes so now let us calculate the final ladder guys so the final ladder value will be the the last value right yes so i think I, again i forgot to write this so for last case we got so that is nothing but fourth case okay so let us continue okay so at this point what will be the result guys so it will be zero plus this value right so that is nothing but a 2 5 123 similarly 150 plus 3048 similarly 246 plus 30 sorry 246 plus 16300 similarly 120 sorry 173 plus 1600 triple sorry plus a zero right yes plus a plus a plus a plus i don't know why but i'm confusing a lot with these last row okay yes so 2 2 2 2 25 3 16 1 thousand 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 okay so if you solve it so what will be the value guys at the end okay so let us anyway solve it okay yes so it is a thousand into 25 into 2 which is a 50,000 so the first value will be around 75k okay so the second value will be 6,000 plus 3048 plus 150 okay so this value will be 9,198 the option C the third option will be okay 16,000 plus sorry 16,000 into 2 plus again 16,000 plus 246 it will be also greater so it is 48k and last fourth option that is 173 plus 2000 so it is a 2173 so finally this whole matrix can be multiplied with a 2173 guys 2173 matrix multiplications will be taken so k equal to 4 okay yes so now we have successfully solved the question but most of you will be saying that how what is the answer now okay so basically by observing this matrix you can find the answer guys so we here it is clearly told that g1 g2 g3 g4 and g5 are our matrices right yes. so the first thing is from 1 to 5 where we are dividing guys yet to 4 we are dividing so means you are dividing here okay so once 4 is done from g1 to g4 so from g1 or f1 so f1 to f4 where we are dividing so at 1 we are dividing so exactly at here you are dividing then okay so after that you are left out with g2 to g4 so g2 to g4 at 2 you are dividing so in this way at the end you are multiplying g3 and g4 first after that you are multiplying for that g2 and after that you are multiplying g1 after that you are multiplying g5 so which is the explicitly computable pair guys so g3 and g4 that is nothing but f3 and f4 so c is the correct answer it's a bit lengthy question but you will be getting a clear answer if you solve it step by step guys i, it, I think it took around 12 minutes in our video okay yes so now you got a clear idea right so how exactly you can solve these type of questions okay so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you